Hey guys, Rev here, and today I'm back, bringing you something that everyone's been requesting for the past couple of months. Everybody's been asking, when's the next cheap airsoft gun review? Or when's the next UK Arms review? Yes, I get it. It's coming and I want to do it right for you guys. But in the meantime, I got something that I found on evic.com which surprised me for only $30. Airsofters. Let me ask you this, are you looking for something that's name brand, but without having to pay the name brand price? Are you looking to have the best bring at your local backyard airsoft game? Well, the SIG MPX from SIG Air is right for you. I'll be giving this gun away to one lucky subscriber. To enter, subscribe to my channel, like, and comment on this video. Let me know what airsoft gun you want me to review next. Also, I noticed that only 66% of you watching this are not subscribed. So make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you know when all my giveaways and gameplays come out. Now, onto the review. The box that it comes with is very good looking. SIG recently came into the airsoft market and this is their only airsoft variant of the MPX. Opening the box up, you get a manual, a stock, the body of the MPX, and a high cap magazine. Oh, and some uh, crappy BBs. Snapping on the stock is easy, and it reveals that this is actually adjustable, which I haven't seen done well with any Springer before. The magazine holds about 500 rounds, and it has this texturized grip that feels pretty nice. Looking at the body of this thing, it's a one-to-one -one replica of the real thing, with its 20mm Picatinny rails, ambidextrous safety lever, and a selector switch. The whole thing is made out of this injected molded polymer, but it's not that crappy plastic that you come to see from other companies, but it's really solid. I handed it over to one of my friends who said a similar thing. There isn't any rattle with this either. You can even remove the flash hider and add a tracer unit. Who knew you can get all this for only $30? Taking this to Grono, I get about 300 FPS on point two O's. So, I've been gushing a little bit of how good this gun is for being only $30, but I think I know what a lot of you might already be saying to your monitors. Yes, Unfortunately, the SIG MPX is a Springer. It can only shoot semi, and you have to load each BB with a charging handle. There's no hop up, so you rely on using your low weight BBs to get the distance that you want. Bottom line, what do I think about the SIG Air MPX? It goes without saying that this is the best Springer you can buy. I know, <laughs> the bar is very, very high here. But hear me out, if you're looking to have fun in your backyard, or give to a friend or a kid as a gift that won't break within an hour, this is the way to go. If you're looking for a prop in your Escape from Tarkov video, this is definitely the thing for you, for being really cheap and extremely realistic looking. However, if you're looking for something that can compete with other electronic airsoft guns at your local airsoft field, you're going to have a really hard time. In fact, I'm gonna post a video of this very soon as I wanna get lots of gameplay with this thing. I know this video is a little short, but that's because I'm in between places and on vacation. I really wanted to keep you all ready, as the video that's coming up will be something extremely special. Watch the end of the video to see what I mean. Anyways guys, that's it for this week's video. Make sure you give this video a like if you enjoyed it, comment on what airsoft gun I should review next, and subscribe for more. I'm Revention, and I'll see you guys next time. In fact, I've been promising that I got a very special review coming out very soon. Here's a little clip. I'll catch you guys next time. There is no one here. And I'm just... Let's do it. And then I'm just like, yo, boy, let's go. Did you see the DVD? What? Did you see the video?